Ever wonder why some people just can't seem to escape the middle-class financial rut? It's often due to a combination of common mistakes that keep them locked in a cycle of financial struggle. These mistakes are not exclusive to any particular group, but they can be particularly detrimental to those in the middle class who often find themselves stuck between rising costs of living and stagnant wages. Stay tuned as we delve into the seven most common money traps the middle class often falls into. Money trap number one, living paycheck to paycheck. This is a precarious way to exist, my friends. It's like walking on a tightrope with no safety net below. One misstep and you could find yourself in a financial freefall. You see, when you live paycheck to paycheck, you're constantly in a cycle of waiting for the next paycheck to cover your expenses. This leaves you with no room to save or invest and in a vulnerable position should an unexpected expense arise. Financial stability is not just about how much you earn, but how you manage what you earn. It's about creating a buffer, a safety net, and that starts with saving. Living paycheck to paycheck is a trap, a cycle that can be hard to break, but with a little discipline and financial planning, it can be done. This trap can easily be avoided by learning to budget and save. Money trap number two, high credit card debt. Picture this, you're in a store and you see something you want, but don't necessarily need. It's easy to pull out that plastic card and swipe away. But here's the kicker. Every time you do this without paying off your balance in full, you're piling on interest. High credit card debt is like a silent monster. It creeps up on you and before you know it, you're in a financial hole that's tough to climb out of. It's a slippery slope, my friends. Your hard-earned money starts going towards paying off the interest rather than the actual debt. This is a trap that can lead to financial ruin if not managed properly. So here's a golden rule to live by. Always strive to pay off your credit card balance in full each month. It's not just about avoiding debt. It's about taking control of your financial future. Money trap number three, lack of investment. Investing is not just for the wealthy. It's a tool to grow your wealth, no matter how small it may be to start with. Imagine you have a seed. If you keep that seed in a drawer, it will remain just a seed. But if you plant it, give it water and sunshine, it can grow into a tree, bearing fruits for years to come. That's what investing does to your money. It gives it the chance to grow, to multiply. Not investing is like keeping your money in a drawer. Sure, it's safe, but it's not doing anything for you. It's not growing, it's not working towards your future, it's just sitting there. To bypass this trap, consider starting small with investments that fit your risk tolerance. Remember, the goal is not to get rich quick, but to build wealth over time. Money trap number four, no emergency fund. Life is full of unexpected surprises and not all of them are pleasant. Your car might break down, your roof might spring a leak or you might lose your job. These are all stressful situations and they're made even more stressful if you don't have the money to deal with them. That's where an emergency fund comes in. It's a safety net, a buffer between you and life's little or big surprises. Unfortunately, many people find themselves in the trap of not having an emergency fund. They live paycheck to paycheck with no cushion for unexpected expenses. And when those expenses inevitably arise, they're left scrambling, often turning to high interest credit cards or loans to cover the costs. Avoid this trap by setting aside a small portion of your income for emergencies. It doesn't have to be much, just start with what you can. Over time, you'll build up a fund that can provide peace of mind and financial security when you need it most. Money trap number five, not saving for retirement. Picture this, you've worked hard all your life and now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But wait, there's a problem. There's no money left for you to enjoy your golden years. That's the grim reality if you're not saving for retirement. You see, retirement isn't just about leaving the workforce. It's about securing your financial future so that you can enjoy life without worrying about where your next meal is coming from or how you're going to pay the bills. Putting aside even a small portion of your income now can make a significant difference in the long run. Think of it as paying your future self. It's a long-term investment that will pay off when you need it most. And remember, it's never too late or too early to start. Bypass this trap by starting to save for retirement today, no matter how small the amount. Money trap number six, overspending on non-essentials. We all love some indulgence, don't we? A fancy meal here, an impulsive online deal there, and before you know it, your wallet is gasping for air. These non-essential expenses can seem harmless at first, but they're like tiny leaks in a ship. 
gradually sinking your financial stability. What do we mean by non-essentials? Well, they're the things you want but don't necessarily need. That designer handbag, the latest gaming console, or even that daily gourmet coffee. It's easy to justify these purchases as treats. But when these treats become a regular part of your spending, they can eat into your savings faster than you'd imagine. So, how do we combat this? It's simple. Make a budget and stick to it. Budgeting helps you prioritize your spending, ensuring your money goes to what truly matters first. It's not about deprivation, but about making smarter choices. To avoid this trap, make a budget and stick to it. Money trap number seven, not having a financial plan. Imagine setting out on a journey without a map or destination in mind. You're likely to end up lost, right? The same goes for your finances. Without a financial plan, you're simply wandering aimlessly in the wilderness of money management. A financial plan is your compass. It helps you identify your financial goals, set priorities and decide on the best strategies to achieve them. Without it, you're more susceptible to impulse buying, overspending and accumulating debt. Not to mention the anxiety and stress that comes with financial uncertainty. It's like trying to build a house without a blueprint. You wouldn't know where to start, where to go or how to get there. To avoid this trap, make a financial plan that fits your income and lifestyle. It might take some time and effort, but the peace of mind and financial stability it brings is worth it. So, those were the seven money traps the middle class often falls into. Let's take a quick journey back through the financial pitfalls we've covered today. We started with living paycheck to paycheck, a dangerous cycle that can leave you stranded without savings. The solution? Budgeting and cutting back on non-essentials, which brings us to the second trap overspending. Remember, every little saving counts. Next, we tackled the hefty issue of high credit card debt. It's easy to swipe and forget, but those debts pile up. Prioritizing debt repayment and using credit cards responsibly is the way forward. We then discussed the lack of investment, a missed opportunity to grow your wealth. Don't be intimidated by the financial markets. Start small, learn as you go, and gradually increase your investments. The fifth money trap we covered was the absence of an emergency fund. Life is unpredictable, and having a safety net can keep you afloat during tough times. Start building your emergency fund today. Even a small amount can make a big difference. We also talked about not saving for retirement. It might seem like a distant concern, but the sooner you start, the more comfortable your retirement will be. Don't rely solely on your pension. Explore other retirement saving options. Finally, we highlighted the importance of having a financial plan. Without clear financial goals and strategies to achieve them, you're like a ship without a compass. So, set your financial goals today and start working towards them. And there you have it. Seven common money traps and how to avoid them. It's not about having a massive income, it's about managing whatever you have wisely. Remember, financial freedom isn't a destination, it's a journey. And every step you take towards better financial management is a step towards that freedom. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more financial advice. Remember, financial freedom is within your reach. All it takes is a little knowledge and discipline. Thanks for watching.